Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. As promised, we have our research team joining in with what the trade setup looks like, the stocks that are likely to be in the news, and the action from the FNO space as well. Hey guys, a very good morning to all of you. Uh, Hormas, let me come across to you first up. Does not look like a good morning for the bulls for sure. It does not look like a good morning at all. And I had mentioned yesterday that as a market, we were sitting on the fence, but come 3.30, we realized which side of the fence we fell to, and it's not the side that the bulls would appreciate for sure. And over the last two sessions, both the Nifty and the Nifty Bank are down over 2% and after which now it's not a good sign as well right when every time a gap down happens the heavyweights are the ones that sell off immediately it was the large private banks that were leading the sell off yesterday HDFC ICICI support was expected from IT that did not happen either and even TCS was among the top contributors to the downside as well the India weeks saw a sharp surge in yesterday's session as well over the last two sessions that is also up over 12% so we'll keep that on our radar some key levels to watch now on the downside for the nifty first up is 22 200 which is also the 40 demo and the level that it has not closed below since the 27th of march and then of course comes the bigger support which is 22,000 that it has not closed below since the 20th of march on the nifty bank as well now that also 47 500 remains the key level as it has uh, remained above those levels all through the april series so those levels become important to watch the problem here is that the handover from wall street has not been very great either the u.s market sold off continuing from friday's losing streak the s p 500 and the nasdaq both broke below it their 50-day moving average the cboe vix also climbed to the highest level of 2024 the treasury yields are at 4.6 percent and of course the tensions in the middle east continue to persist you keep an eye out for gold prices as well crude prices are higher this morning metal stocks continue to remain on the radar and of course today being the weekly expiry of the nifty bank as well as the financial services index since tomorrow is a holiday the asian markets are trading lower and the gift nifty is indicating 180 point downtake as we speak almost 200 points now a gap down start for sure okay yes and actually it's accelerating by the minute so 195 points lower on the gift nifty right now thank you hormas for that but a lot of stocks that'll be in our on our radar as well vamakshi is joining us with that list hey good morning well, good morning, Sona. Let me first start off with Cipla, and that is because its arm, Cipla Health, will be buying Ivia Beauty's cosmetics and personal care business for 240 crores. Spark uh, held a con call yesterday, and they say that they will be looking at portfolio to prioritize assets. They are in the process of reinstating business development activity on CML for Vodobatnib, and they have a cash balance of nearly $20 million and will not be looking at equity raising currently. GTPL Hathway reported a good set of numbers. Margins were, however, under pressure. Uh, almost by 70 basis points, mainly on account of higher pay channel cost as well as other expenses. But on the other hand, the company reported a net profit of almost 16 crores as compared to a net loss of 11 crores. Keep in mind, the net loss last year was on account of exceptional items. Gujarat Gas has signed a non-binding MOU with Indian Oil to broaden scope and accessibility of energy solution for its customers. Geo Financial Services uh, uh, is, is forming a 50-50 JV with BlackRock and this is to undertake wealth management and broker business in India. Ramco Systems, on the other hand, has reached settlement with customers to pay almost $1.5 million in two equal installments before December 31st, 2024. March Aviation data indicates that Indigo as well as SpiceJet have gained market share marginally at the cost of Vistara. Uh, Trill has received a, a, a withdraw stop deal from Getco uh, with immediate effect and Happy Forging has received an order from leading global tier one manufacturer of automobile driveline components for almost 500 crores over the entire period of the contract. Okay, so Trill here is Transformers, Rectifiers. Uh, so that's the stock uh, she's talking about. Thank you so much, Vamakshi, for that. Uh, let's talk about all the FNO cues. Uh, Mangnam is joining us now. Hey, Mangnam, morning. Well, it was a weekday of trade yesterday. No two ways about that. The recovery was sold into. The market ended virtually at the low point of trade. And in doing so, what has happened was the Nifty Bank was underperforming, as were the mid-cap index. Now, with the gift Nifty indicating a sharp cut, just uh, look at a couple of levels. Yesterday's close on the Nifty was virtually at the 20-day moving average, 22,284. And chances are that we open at the 50-day moving average. So whether there will be a recovery from the lows and will that recovery be sold into and will we see another recovery is something that we'll watch out for. Cash market flows, uh, nothing too heartening out there. The FI has sold another 3,300 crores. But importantly, in index futures for the second day running, the FI have sold 3,850 crores. So for two days, the FI have sold nearly 6,000 crores in the index futures. And as a result of which, yesterday we saw long positions being unwound to the tune of 20,000 contracts and short positions being added to the tune of 19,000 contracts. And the FIs were net long for the last three, four trading sessions have now 
back again turned net short. So if you take a look at the long exposure of the FIs in three trading sessions, down from 59% to 49%, and net contracts up from, uh, rather down from 51,000 positive contracts, long contracts, to 5,000 negative contracts on a net basis. What are the options suggesting? 22,500 is a level which, you know, the bears believe is out for the bulls right now. On the way up, Nifty will face a lot of resistance out there. At the lower level, the 22,200 put writers were pretty active, but now with the gift Nifty indicating the kind of cut that it is, important to see whether 22,000 to 22,150 would see some sort of support or not. Key to watch, Nifty and Nifty Bank, uh, uh, rather Nifty Financial Services and Nifty Bank weekly options expiry because of uh, it being a holiday tomorrow. And to that extent, important to watch out for HDFC Bank and ICICI Bank. And as we had pointed out yesterday, the possibility of sale and exide entering FNO Bank, that has happened along with Bandhan Bank as well. An idea is out of FNO Bank. Okay, all right. It's going to be a very busy day when it comes to macros and micros as well. So thank you guys for joining us and prepping us up for this trading day ahead.